Hi, welcome to the Lux channel. So time to time, uh, whenever I was uh, handling uh, uh, sessions uh, uh, to my students about uh, networking uh, and as well as uh, if I post any topic on uh, uh, you know layer 2 l3 stuff i do get uh, uh, some queries on uh, you know slow protocols and as well as uh, uh, you know uh, especially the layer 2 switching protocols we call them as uh, slow protocols and uh, these are uh, also can be called as you know multicast uh, uh, protocols because you know these do have a fixed l2 address ethernet address uh, so these are not going to be a broadcast these are not these fff uh, stuff which you get up often with uh, you know arp packets because arp is uh, mostly an arp request is a broadcast and sometimes to confirm arp can also send a unicast okay i am saying a layer 2 unicast okay again this uh, i have mentioned in many videos people do get confused with uh, you know broadcast and multicast with a layer 2 context and a layer 3 context uh, there is another uh, thing which is called as ip unicast which is a regular ipv4 packets and the uh, other aspect is uh, you do get sometimes uh, this ipv4 multicast uh, packets at the same time you have also layer 2 unicast layer 2 multicast and as well as layer 2 broadcast so layer 2 broadcast as the name says you get all ffs so every time a packet receives a ethernet uh, card okay a nic card it is going to compare uh, the destination address if the destination address if you uh, if it sees any broadcast address it is going to send it to the operating system layer and in this case it's a os which is uh, let's assume it's a linux os so it will be forwarded to the software layer and if the promise cast mode is uh, disabled and if you get any other uh, frame uh, which doesn't correspond to the nic card's mac address it is going to discard it so this is what happens and if you enable promiscuous mode it is going to forward all the frames whatever the nic card gets to the software layer and in case if it is any uh, you know layer to uh, multicast you know frames then it is going to again handle if it is something like you know enabled in the OS and stuff so we can do some uh, quick demo because this is again like i said people do get confused so what i have here is uh, uh, i have this uh, you know simple uh, vm setup uh, this uh, you can do with your office computers and if you have multiple systems at home uh, perhaps you can do uh, with a you know something like a raspberry pi one and other end maybe a pc and uh, something like that you can just do whatever i'm showing here in a uh, you know in a physical setup as well so conceptually this is my uh, setup i have a, you know router uh, i have this uh, vm router you can see there it's a pfsense router so pfsense is a uh, free bst based uh, uh you know a routing platform so it's a pfsense router and uh, on the other side i have uh, you know multiple uh, vms uh, and i can use this vm which is a zoom into uh, ubuntu desktop there is also another clone of that as you can see here this is also another test pc it's also a desktop ubuntu os so i have two vms okay and uh, you can imagine these two vms are just you know connected to this you know router in this way okay it is not connected to the you know different ports of router it is both are connected to the same port of the router you can imagine conceptually as if you know these two are connected via some you know switch or something like that so all of these are connected to the same port of the router and uh, this way uh, the router's other hop is connected uh, to the internet okay you can see there uh, it has two ports one is connected to this uh, you know van side which is connected to the internet and the other side is the lan side which provides dhcp addressing and all the stuff like any you know router you set up in this case it is not a physical router but it is a vm okay so this is what is the setup like i said you know most of these experiments you can do on physical systems but to illustrate and it is more easier uh, to do something like this in a vm and it is going to work just exactly the same as a real physical setup so this is what it is uh, once uh, these two are uh, configured if it is in the same subnet like you know this router you can see there it is in uh, subnet 192.168.8.0 slash 24 subnet 
if it is in the same subnet you should able to ping you know from uh, this mission to this mission and from this mission to you know this mission and the packets doesn't have to go to the router because it is just a you know uh, you know direct ping from you know one vm pc to other vm uh, pc or desktop order <laughs> okay so so uh, there is uh, you know before i uh, go forward there is also another confusion people do confuse again still thinking any uh, you know uh, layer to network equipment as uh, you know um, as uh, something you can't emulate on a regular systems it is not the case whatever a dedicated network device uh, let it be a firewall uh, let it be a switch let it be a router you can perfectly do it on any pc and you can do it in a uh, like i mentioned in uh, data plane control plane series and as well as you know network processors you can do the same functionality what a commercial router does in a regular pc or a laptop or even a raspberry pi but here in this case it runs in uh, you know linux kernel the it op, it works in linux kernel if it is done in linux if it is done in windows or something it happens in windows but whereas in a dedicated uh, hardware sometimes it may happen in a dedicated fpga or some you know kind of um, uh, you know um, uh, you know controller or uh, you know network processor okay so that's all so this is what is happening and uh, what we can do is uh, we can check here uh, see this is uh, the vm i'm going to use the on the other hand uh, i'm using this vm so what we can do is before uh, checking uh, you can see here some of the ports i have disabled only one port i have enabled here and it is connected and uh, you can also check in this case i have enabled uh, you know promiscuous mode so i have enabled all uh, uh, for a moment what we can do is we can just deny this uh, for this vm uh, in a physical system if you want to emulate if you want to do this in raspberry pi or something uh, you just need to do is uh, via if config command okay you just need to do sudo if config and you can put uh, the port name uh, say it zero whatever from isk and off uh, and on you can tell okay so something like that you can enable or disable and generally if you do if config you can see the promiscuous mode is not enabled so it is not going to show over here but it is going to show as multicast is enabled and the port is up and it is accepting broadcast and uh, so and so 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 these are all you know various uh, device level uh, parameters it is showing here and if promiscuous mode is enabled it is going to show as promiscuous mode is also enabled okay so that's what whereas in the case of vm uh, what we are uh, trying to attempt is um, in the case of vm uh, see we need to mention uh, the whatever port is provided for the vm you know what sort of functionality we need to provide so which is why in a vm it is just an exception we, j we can just go inside the network setting adapter settings uh, network adapter settings and you can select if you want to deny entirely promiscuous mode see promiscuous mode is also a bit of a security issue and a bit of uh, uh, you know os overhead also may involved by mistake if you enable promiscuous mode here and if you enable promiscuous mode in the software it's going to flood the system so which is why it is you know set up in this way so that uh, you know here you can deny at the same time in uh, the booted os also you have another control to accept or deny uh, you know packets in promiscuous mode so let us provide as deny so that we don't offer any special privileges uh, to this port so uh, over here as well we can go to this adapter and we can check its promiscuous mode you can see here it is also mentioned as deny okay so we can accept and let us boot these two vms okay so let us boot this vm and uh, we go back here and uh, we boot this as well and uh, long back what i have done is i have uh, done a raw socket uh, packets on uh, uh, various uh, protocols uh, uh, that includes uh, stp and as well as quick protocol and a couple of other protocols so you can search in videos tab raw sockets so one of this code we can pick and what we can do is we can send some test stp frames uh, you can see here uh, other than other protocols you have this uh, quick which is a app layer on udp whereas in the case of uh, VoIP, it is uh, uh, you know again udp wipe on udp sip packets on udp okay so that's what 
and in the case of uh, stp you can see here it's a layer 2 slow protocols and uh, we have a you know uh, an example dynamic routing protocol like ospf okay so uh, you can see the source code i have uh, hard coded here the layer 2 multicast address and uh, this is the source address and uh, so on actually so this is the stp frame a uh, test stp uh, packet which is hard coded uh, it is quite uh, different than you know you can see here it is quite different than you know these uh, wipe uh, sip packets and as well as this uh, you know uh, quick uh, packets okay in the case of quick and sip and all this it is on top of ipv4 uh, you know uh, this thing uh, uh, the you know the it, it's on top of regular ipv4 and udp so you should find uh, uh, you know the buffer contents for UDP stuff. This is the UDP header, and you can see there. And uh, this is the you know this is in the case of uh, you know STP packet. So this is the STP uh, contents, uh, and you can see somewhere you have this uh, layer two header, Ethernet header, and then you have uh, uh, you know uh, the other uh, things. So I'm computing checksum and I'm sending in this case but in the case of stp it is quite uh, simple and straightforward it is just very minimal code as you can see here so uh, the vms are uh, yet to boot since i have just started both together it is taking some time so hope it just boots quickly and then we can start our test so it is uh, still in the process of booting uh, since uh, my system uh, it has a hard drive it will take some time if i do something like this <laughs> aggressive uh, versus if it is uh, on an ssd it is going to be quite uh, faster okay so while it gets ready see you can see here one of the vm is uh, ready uh, let us wait couple of more minutes uh, so that the other one also gets ready and stable so meanwhile if you do an if config see you can do a man if config uh, you can find uh, some documentation about this uh, promise you can see their promise and uh, they mentioned that by enabling that it enables the promise mode and after that you can see here there is also another option called as all multi so all multi mode enable or disable you can do that and it will uh, enable or disable the multicast uh, stuff okay so that's what so let's just uh, you know wait couple of more minutes so that it is uh, booted up and fully it is ready and stable okay